It seems like we've got a lot of G.I. Joe Classified fans on the channel here, so let's get back to basics and do a good old fashioned listicle video. Let's get right to it. Yo Joe! So we're talking top five things G.I. Joe Classified has to do heading into 2025. But first, smash that like button if you like what we're doing, and as well, think about hitting subscribe if you want to keep up to date on the happenings around the channel. Let's get to it. Number one. First up, let's talk Skybound Entertainment Comics. And you know what? For those who are not in the know, Skybound Entertainment now owns the rights to both G.I. Joe and Transformer Comics. And that being said, they've made their new Dark Energon universe. And this includes Transformers and G.I. Joe, but more importantly, has limited run series of both Duke, Scarlet, Destro and Erwin's favorite Cobra Commander which all lead into an ongoing G.I. Joe series that starts this fall. Now with this new comic book series comes new designs, Skybound designs, and we have such classic characters such as Destro, Baroness with a twist, Mercer, and uh, many more and don't forget that iconic Cobra Commander. Now we've already sort of seen a Skybound Entertainment designs uh, kind of being injected into Classified. We've seen Nemesis Enforcer slash Immortal. He has a he's kind of guy has a Skybound look to him. And so you know it'd be interesting to see instead of just sublines where they do subgroups, if they do sublines, much like how Transformers has their Studio Series 86 and their Studio Series uh, and it has different designs. There's many different things. It'd be nice to see it's classified adopt the same thing from Hasbro. So let's get a Skybound sub category of figures within the main line classified selection. Number two. Next up, let's talk vehicles. Now, for a long time, myself included, vehicles were out of scope for G.I. Joe Classified. That's all changed since the HasLab His Tank became a reality. So vehicles are on the table, but we need more vehicles injected into the Classified line. And I personally would even see them like to come without a vehicle driver. All, not all vehicles need drivers to be included. That often drives up the price. Most collectors would much rather just have the vehicle if they were given the option. We're seeing things like the Ferret, the Tiger Paw, we're seeing the claw come and we need more things like the battle polar bear we need little vehicles like this that are easy to do and perfectly fit into that world building aspect that we would like to see increased in gi joe classified let us know which vehicles you'd like to see in the comments below number three Next up, let's talk classified exclusives and two packs. Now, if there's one thing I hear from fans, it's that they find it hard to sometimes collect this line that they love so much. And so I personally think we need to kind of reduce the number of classified exclusives and even two packs. Two packs are interesting because you don't really get a deal on the two pack. Like it still costs the same amount, but often you'll get one figure that you really want and one figure that you don't really want. So it's time to kind of like rein it in a little bit. Let's reduce the two packs and exclusives are killing this line with the, it's killing fans um, tolerance for this line. For example, the Once Upon a Man figure, the Cobra Commander exclusive. People are ex upset. They, they can't find these things. They just want to collect toys. And so I would personally like to see a little less exclusives. Let's just, let's just do a few, uh, like a couple a year, like San Diego Comic Con, but not necessarily so many exclusives. People are having trouble tracking this down and often have to pay through the nose on second party marketplaces to find these for the collection when they just want to buy some toys. Let me know your thoughts. Number four. Now this next one I've talked about before as well. And I, I think it really comes down 
to the idea of world building. And we've heard this term often, but I think the G.I. Joe Classified team needs to get more play sets, more action items out that people can use alongside their action figures that they're buying. You know, it's great that you have some like mine, some of the mine are in the box or whatever, but a lot of people out there, they want to like take photos of these things. They want to get them out and become real live action figures and the only way we can do that is we give the community more props more things to play with their figures with so play sets is the way to go i think you know the watchtower is an easy one the checkpoint checkpoint alpha is another easy one these things are very easy a little plastic to do and i do think that these would make big additions to the gi joe classified community i think a lot of people would enjoy these once again, it doesn't need to come with a figure. I mean, it certainly can, but I think the people just would like the opportunity to buy these plastic items to make their world a little bit cooler. What do you think? Number five. Last up, building on our last point, let's bring back accessory packs and you know what, let's include the stands that were missing in the mainline figure. Well, let's throw in some blast effects that only seem to come with the deluxe figures. And lastly, let's get some weapon packs. The team over at Action Force is busting those out and people are loving it. Now, I've already previously done a video on that topic, so why don't you head over there and watch that one and see what you have to say about that. So. Let's get these things going.